Hi class, um, I'm getting ready to go outside because it's actually nice today and I've been indoors all morning trying to get some videos to load. Our upload is pretty slow here right now. It's taken an eight minute video, can take 18 to 24 hours, if not at all, to load. So I've been chopping them up into two part videos. And so this might have a whole lot of parts because I've started a new oil painting. Yes, I still haven't finished with my crayon portrait but I do this, this is my process. I like to have more than one thing going at a time so that I, as one thing dries, I can go and work on something else. So this is all just kind of part of my process. I like to have two, sometimes three things going at one time. So I sketched out a new oil painting that I'm gonna work on from a reference photo that I took at Lake of the Ozarks where I grew up. And so uh, I'll show you my sketch. So I sketched a thumbnail sketch in my sketchbook and I have then sketched it onto my toned canvas in paint. You sketch it on in oil paint, uh, which may sound intimidating, but really it's not because all you can do is just take a damp cloth with some uh, paint thinner on it and comes right off. So I've got my canvas toned, kind of a golden color. I prefer to uh, tone my canvases so that the white doesn't show through. And next I'm gonna show you what the sketch looks like. Okay, before I go outside, here's the start of my sketch. And you might've noticed the hat I was wearing. That's my uh, MWSU, Missouri Western State University Griffins hat. Go Griffs! And uh, here's Here's the start. Right now it's just a collection of lines and I did squiggles where the uh, bushes and clumps of trees, straight lines for the tree trunks and horizontal lines for the water. This is drawn in burnt umber oil paint and the canvas has been toned with a canvas sealant called gesso that I tinted with some uh, with a light bit of Naples yellow. So let's get to work. Good morning class. As you can tell, I am getting ready to paint. Uh, my classes from the past uh, at least 18 years will be familiar with this beast. Uh, my paint smock, it's uh, about 18 years old. Uh, I buy uh, doctors lab coats and nurses smocks, the ones that snap. Uh, they've got big pockets. So they can carry all my pencils and my erasers and everything I need whenever I'm walking around the classroom. I wear them at home. I have long sleeve ones and short sleeve ones. Uh, house is a little warm this morning, so I'm wearing my purple short sleeve one uh, this morning. It's 40 degrees outside this morning in Missouri, and it was 80 yesterday, so, you know, Missouri. And so we've got the wood furnace kicked in and that tends to get the house a little hot. So and once I get working on this, I'll be under this spotlight, I'll be under that spotlight. So it's gonna get a little warm. Let's talk a little bit about how I'm getting started. I think I'm going to mix a teeniest bit of phthalo blue in with my sky that's peeking through. Phthalo blue is a very, very strong color. So you gotta be extra, extra careful with it. I think I just wanna kind of brighten the sky just a little smidge. Seems like it's just a teeny bit a bit too cool of a temperature. I'm still using my medium.
Now normally I would start out with not so much of a bright color here, but in my reference image, the uh, trees back here are being lit a little bit with some sunlight. coverage here. Keeping an eye on my reference picture. Yeah, Matt, what do you need? Oh, you're recording. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. What's up? Didn't sound like Fortnite was going so well. Oh, it was. We got, well... Oh, that was excitement? <laughs> yeah, kind of. It was kind of okay. I knocked all the squad down, but then, but then um, he had a pump shot and pumped me to the hill. Uh oh, that's bad. Yeah, I tried to build and he kind of glitched through my builds and. Okay, here we go. I have a kind of a block in that works for me. Uh, I guess you would almost call this a block in for my block in. It's done in very faded, thin layers, just glazes, uh, so I know where everything goes. Uh, I used oil paint and then I used uh, this brush to spread it around in a really thin layer. So now I kind of have an idea of where everything is supposed to be and I will refine my areas.